Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name is Terry Danich Kimiak II, and I am your digital painter. This week, we're going to be looking at lighting in your digital art. Before we go to that, if this is the first time you've ever watched my video, then you're probably watching it on YouTube. Make sure you stop by thedigitalpainter.com, check out the full website, or if you're not really into websites because you prefer just to stay on YouTube your entire life, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you know that you'll be able to get updates when I post videos, uh, which I try to do every week-ish, though the holidays are coming along and we know what happens in the holidays. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle... Quiet! Anyways, so uh, so this week we're going to be looking at uh, lighting. And what you see on the image right now is I, I made a, a little Twitter image post uh, earlier today. It is Black Friday, and my wife went Black Friday shopping. And so I thought I'd make a nice little uh, image of, of, well, you can see here what it says. I survived my wife's Black Friday shopping. Uh, just barely, though. She was up way too early, and... Um, off to the races, spending all of our money, uh, which is fine. It happens. Anyways, uh, let's look at, uh, if we look at this image, I'm, I'm a World of Warcraft player, so I'm using one of the characters from uh, from my the game. Now, this is not a drawing of the character that I did. This is a uh, 3D model of the character, and then I do a lot of manipulation to create the look that I want. But what we're really looking at today is we're looking at the lighting here in this area. Whoa, that's a big circle. Uh, in this area and this area and how I create those uh, those lighting effects because when you're doing a digital painting you know let's say you did a lighthouse sometimes you want a lighthouse and yes if you're using something like art rage and you're trying to mimic natural media you can try and you know use the color choices to create that look but there's an easier way if you're actually doing something that uh, is really in the mode of digital painting, and that is using layers in the overlay mode. And we're going to look at that. I'm going to turn off these two layers right now. You see, now we go back to a very boring, hello, I'm a dull image. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a layer. You see layer 15 here. And we're just going to be using the normal brushes. You can see here soft round soft round pressure size um, this is the these are the ones that 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 come with Photoshop now you can do this really in any program that has the ability to use layers and uh, use use different layer settings like overlay so I've gone ahead I've grabbed the soft round pressure size and we're gonna change our color to kind of a yellowish okay and we're gonna put we're, we're gonna light this this left hand side of his face so I'm gonna go and do that now that's a little small now the problem with that is because I picked the soft round pressure size uh, we're actually gonna go back up to soft round <laughs> using that and there we go we've got the beginnings of what we want for lighting I'm gonna actually go back because we're gonna want our first one to be a little bigger so I'm gonna go that big okay now right now this is just laying directly on top of the image there it doesn't feel like light uh, but if you go up here and you switch to overlay we start to get the sense of lighting rather than painting on top so i'll show you again i'm going to actually duplicate this layer and my menu is over on a different screen so we've got to reach click ok there we go Okay, so I'm going to switch this layer to overlay so that we can really get the feeling of the difference of the two. So this is the overlay, this is the painting, okay? You can actually, if you wanted to turn both on, which I have right now, it looks okay. Now, I'm not saying you can't use painting by itself, but if you're going to use the painting, you're going to want to reduce the opacity. And what this actually does is it gives atmosphere so you could combine this with your overlay to give an even deeper feeling of what you're trying to achieve there. Okay, so I actually have both on. This is the painting or this is the overlay version. This is the painting version, and I've combined the two to create something that's even a bit more dynamic. The other thing you can do is you can do multiple layers and lighten it. So that first one was a nice yellow. 
I'm going to do another layer. And this one we're going to, again, overlay. And we're going to do white. Now that was a little big, so I'm going to remove that, decrease my size. That's a little too small. And right there. And now you can see it's like light is coming in. Either that is a point source or it is coming in and hitting them, uh, hitting the character right there. And you can, of course, go back in and you can play with your layers. Uh, I'm going to create an even bigger one. So now we're lighting. Uh, I went a little too far. I'm going to come over here. There we go. So now it's really lighting up that left side of his face. But if, the, if one side is going to be in a lot of very bright light, I like to counteract that with a bluish light on the other side. So I'm going to take my back down. I'm going to switch up to blue. Find a blue I like. Let's see how that looks. It's a little too dark. There we go, but it needs to be bigger. About like that. I'm going to press a second time. And then in another layer, I'm going to bring in that. Oops. That's the wrong layer. There we go. Now one of the things I'm going to come do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to erase it off of the background because the light is hitting the character, not the background. So I just have a regular eraser brush. And I'm just erasing. Like so. So now it's hitting his skin here and here. Or, well, his armor here. Okay. Uh, now, if you really, I'm actually going to pull it off the armor too, because I want it just to be hitting kind of at this direction on his back. And then to really, if you wanted to set that off even a little more, you could come in with a darker color on his armor. I went too dark there. Now let's go ahead with burn then. Where's my burn tool? There we go. Oops, got to be on the right layer. So I'm now picking up and I'm burning the area around it so that we get an even nicer look in the background there. And we can come in if we wanted to, we can grab the dodge tool on his face and lighten him up a little bit. Okay, so you can see we're really getting some nice, uh, some nice reaction with that light. Again, this is about doing digital painting on this. I mean, this is not something you're going to do if you want to try and uh, really create uh, or mimic natural media. So just remember that this this is all about the digital painting, the digital look, uh, and using these tools to create these lighting effects. Now this is just one way to do these lighting effects. There's you know there's dozens other ways to create these lighting effects, and uh, I'll look into maybe going over a couple more in the future. But uh, but definitely look at using the overlay on your layers, using yellows and blues to create these beautiful light effects on your images. All right, that's it for this week on the Digital Painter Vidcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you do, hit that subscribe button or head over to the Digital Painter and become a member of the website. Uh, we have a free membership where you, uh, you get these videos actually a week early and um, a couple other perks. So uh, definitely check us out. All right, that's it for now. Take care. I hope you had an enjoyable Thanksgiving in it if you're in the U.S. And if you're not in the U.S., I hope you ate food. All right, that's it. Bye.